Hello guys, Siak Games here, and today we're gonna be playing Squad Battles. Now, as you can see right here, we're gonna be playing today the Alexander Lacassette Featured Squad. Now, if we go to View Squad right now, I don't know if you can notice, but there's one thing missing here. There's no 95 rated Alexander Lacassette Pro player card. Why is that? I don't know. You can try answer in the comments. So before we get to right into that, as you can see, we have a hundred and fifty thousand a hundred coins in the top left corner. Now, last episode we had three hundred and ten thousand coins, I think. Something around three hundred thousand coins. Now, what have we spent that money on? Well, new players. Who have I bought? Well, I spend on, I bought Alonso, Marcus Alonso with a shadow chemistry style on for 3,900 coins. I bought Petr Cech for 22,750 coins. I bought Chris Smalling with a shadow on for 3,400 coins. I bought Kyle Walker with an anchor card for 50,000 coins. I bought Gilfy Sigerson, the one to watch card with a hunter on for 77,000 coins. I spent 16,750 coins on Salah, on Mohamed Salah with a dead eye chemistry style on and I also spent around 10,000 coins getting the 20 game loan on Mr. Harry Kane player of the month. Now if you can see on the kind of like middle right corner you can see that all the players have 10 games played all the new ones and obviously the players that I already played in my club for a long time obviously got more than 10 games. So, I don't know if you can notice, but the reason why they have 10 games on is because I've been trying to get to the, I've been trying to qualify for foot champions, but sadly, it doesn't look like it's going to happen this week. So, before we go jump right into squad battles, first we're going to see what we sold. We sold 20 items, so I've listed up like uh, half of the items we got last week from the rewards. So we got Slimani, El Sharawi, Sabaleta, Sahin, all of these cards. You can see how much they sold for. I'm just gonna scroll very quickly. We still got a lot of players to sell. Just gonna clear that. And if we go to a store, we have four packs. Now we have these two from just completing daily objectives. Also, the gold reward pack for completing daily objectives. And we also got the jumbo premium gold pack because uh, I bought the Ronaldo edition. Not the icon edition, the Ronaldo edition. And that comes with a jumbo premium gold pack every week. So we're going to start off by the bronze reward pack. Just going to skip this. And we got our Sean skin, something like that. Now we're gonna go to the silver reward pack. And we got a doy. I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be Odoy. I don't know, I'm not sure. He's got good pace though, 85 pace, I'm pretty sure. 85 or 84. Now we're going to the gold reward pack. Nothing yet. Wasn't expecting anything from these three packs. And now we're going to go to the jumbo premium gold pack. Now this pack, I am expecting something. Come on, man. Mueller on the front. What can we get? Yes, we got a, we got a like nice gold on the middle. Come on. Spain. Cam. Uh, Mata. Okay, so we got Juan Mata. Okay, it's not a bad card. If I were to guess his price, I would say around 3,000 coins. Delafil, uh, last time we got him, he was around 4,000 coins. 
I'm wow. That is amazing. He's going for 850 coins. I'm going to keep him. He's going to be one of our substitutes. I'm going to keep him. He just has an amazing card. To just be worth a measly thousand coins. That is really like I can't believe it. Just a thousand coins? We got a Samoa, we got all these guys that I'm gonna send to the transfer list. I'm gonna send these consumables to the club. Oh, we got a shadow. And I'm gonna quick sell this and check out Mata and the shadow's price. Oh Jesus. Oh no. I see like the, the twenty thousand the, the twelve thousand coin, the thirteen thousand coins, the fourteen thousand coins. I think to myself, wow, he's worth a lot, isn't he? And then right there, four thousand nine hundred coins. I'm gonna list them up for four thousand coins start price thirty five hundred. I mean four thousand coins by by now price, thirty five hundred starting price. I'm just gonna list them up. And the shadow chemistry style. Okay, there's a lot there for 5,000 coins. I don't think it's worth that much. Okay, I'm just gonna list it up for 4,700. Let's hope it sells. Maybe it will sell for 4,700. You never know, it might sell. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go to single player squad battles. As you can see there, um, I haven't uploaded a video in like a week and a half. I know I'm supposed to upload daily. Reason why? Well, my internet provider kind of like had like a problem. Basically, I didn't have internet for like a week. So I'm back right now. So yeah, as you can see, we're kind of like, we're quite like, we're probably not gonna get elite rewards this this squad battles because we, we started very late but don't worry i'll be playing all these games off camera try to get as much up to date as we can and try to get the best rewards we can for this week and yeah let's play this team i mean what can i say it's a great team it's got ramos untiti and varan in defense with thursday and goal solid defense you can't ask for something that, that much better Modric, Mod Modric and Iniesta in the midfield with Ronaldinho and Cam, Ronaldo and Messi in right mid and left mid with Thierry Henry and Griezmann. It's just an absolute amazing team. Now, something I've noticed from all these featured squads is that they all are in the 3 4 1 2, aren't they? Like, if you notice, mo is it 3 4 1 2 or 3 5 2? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's the 3 4 1 2. So yeah, the EA made sure that they're all in the 3, 4, 1, 2. I know for a fact Griezmann's, Griezmann's featured squad was in the 3, 4, 1, 2. And I know for a fact that Lacazette's featured squad was in the 3, 4, 1, 2. But the question for me is, was Muller, was Muller's featured squad the 3, 4, 1, 2? I'm pretty sure it was. I'm not... Uh, if I'm being quite frank with you, I, I don't quite remember. Honestly. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So uh, we're playing world class. And for those of you who don't know, I uh, I have uncovered a, a kind of bug in the system. Now, for those of you who don't know of this bug, basically you have a better chance of winning any squad battles game if you go to settings and you move the defending from from normal defending to I'm pretty sure it's legendary defending, something like that, where you basically just press A and it will basically just tackle the opponent. So you're basically guaranteed a win almost, unless you can't score a goal and you have to go to penalties because that basically like enables the opponent from scoring. Which I have to admit, I mean, it's not a bug, it's not a glitch, it's not cheating. It's just like, EA, for, EA just put something very overpowered in the game that people can use to their advantage. 
I I know I'm not using it right now, but I decided, you know, for this first game, Terry Henry, featured squad, I won't use it. So yeah, it's very interesting because it's a way for you that anybody can like just beat beat just get great rewards on squad battles. And that, that would boost up the average points per game you need. Cause I don't know if you guys know this, but like in order to get at least three per se right now, you need around a thousand points per match. Kinda like that. Like a thousand to a thousand a hundred points per match to get elite one elite three i'm pretty sure it was yeah elite three that's an average you know every single game you play you need to get around a thousand a hundred points now obviously you can lose a game and get around 500 and win a game and get a thousand five hundred and that still maintains the thousand to thousand a hundred point average but the things that with this i don't i don't know if you know this but on squad battles the rewards are based on the amount of people that win or lose games because Elite 3, I'm pretty sure, is 9%, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's 9% of players that, that of players playing squad battles, which means that if everybody starts winning because of this new, you know, like, overpowered thing we, we people have discovered... Then, then what's gonna happen is that everybody's gonna win ridiculous amount of points, meaning that everybody, meaning that elite three instead of a thousand to a thousand a hundred points per match average will be like a thousand five hundred points per match, which really doesn't make it easier. It just makes it like same difficulty as usual in the sense that everybody's gonna be winning games, meaning everybody's gonna get good rewards. But since squad battles, it's difficult to explain, basically. But you get I hope you get what I mean. So, yeah, we brought a lot of new players. Uh, me, I decided to try out this new Harry Kane card. As you can see here right now, he just scored a goal. Um, um, I was debating on, on maybe buying him because I tried out the normal Harry Kane. I thought he was great. And... Uh, I saw the inform Harry Kane and I thought maybe I should try to get the player of the month Harry Kane. But then I saw how much he was. He was it's pretty expensive, you know. I mean, maybe he wasn't that expensive for a Harry Kane, which is true. But I just thought to myself, it's Harry Kane. He's the guy that has won two golden boots in a row. He's probably going to get a lot more informs, okay? And he's probably going to get a 90 inform in about a month or two. That is going to be selling for around the same price the player of the month is selling for. And it's going to be higher rated with better stats. And it's going to be selling for the same price. Meaning that I can sell it if I don't, if by any chance I don't like him in the future. Because for me, players worn out. Like Timo Warner, he was doing two goals average a game. And uh, I know I sold them. I sold them by accident actually. I was trying to compare price to see if I should sell him. Where I was going to keep him in as, as a substitute. I accidentally put list on transfer market. He sold. Yeah, because he still had more than a game. Uh, uh, a goal or assist per game ratio. Which is very good for a striker. That's kind of what you want. More than a goal or assist per game ratio. But the problem was that when I first got him. He had two goals. Or assist per game ratio, meaning he decreased by 50%. Meaning that over time, for at least for me, players get worse. Which, if I buy a 90 Harry Kane for the same price as a player of the month Harry Kane, if he starts decreasing, I can sell him. And in the future, Players are, there's going to be a lot better players than Harry Kane, 89 rated for striker, you know? So I really didn't know if I should tie myself to a card like that. So I decided to pay the 10,000 coins to get the 20 match loan, the 20 game match loan, which in my opinion was a great decision. 20 games 
was a good amount of games for 10k. That's 500 coins a game with Harry Kane, which is very good for testing out a new player. Very good. So, so that was my final verdict. But I would like to know: Are you gonna be buying Harry Kane? Do you even have the coins to get someone like Harry Kane? Like, what, 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 what is your thinking? Leave it in the comments. Now, another thing I was thinking about was, well, if I got him, there are some very nice packs that come with him. Oh God, small and clear. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a mega pack and a jump premium gold pack. They have some pretty nice packs, you know, that in those packs, if I get lucky, I could pack an amazing player, you know? You never know. I could get an icon. I could get Ronaldo. I could get Messi. I could get anybody, okay? I could get anybody. And that's a good thing. What if I spend, you know, I'm pretty sure everything right now is around 300,000 coins. I hope he's that much. I haven't really looked it up. But by seeing the SBC requirements, I'm going to guess he's around 300,000 coins, give or take a bit. I don't think he's going to be more than that. But 300,000 coins, like any icon on the market, the cheapest icon right now is probably like minimum 250,000 coins, which is Peter Schmeichel, 86 rated, or Van der Sar, 87 rated. They're only goalkeepers that sell for around that. And I'm pretty sure Puyol is the other one that sells for around that much, but a bit more, like 20, 30, 40, 50,000 coins more. And, like, if I get an, any icon, I, I get my money back, and I get, you know, a Harry Kane, a free 89-rated player of the month, Harry Kane. I mean, that, that just sounds great, you know, but... Do I want to take a chance on that? You know, I don't know. Maybe, I don't remember. Maybe there was like a 100K pack there. Maybe there was. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I would have to check again. Because if there's like a 125K pack or something like that, I think I would take the risk. Because especially right now, in the we're like in the, still in the first month of FIFA. Still in the first month. You know, where... It hasn't even, the game hasn't even been out for 30 days. And players, the good players, are still on the peak of their prices. Like, Gabriel Jesus, he still says 60 to 70,000 coins, especially now with his inform. Then we got players like Martial on my team. He's still around 60 to 70,000 also. Then we got somebody like Petr Cech. Yeah, when I like uh two month two weeks ago he was around thirty thousand coins and now he's like like twenty five twenty three thousand coins but it's still around the same margin like the big high end players but then you have to see players like Delafell who were four thousand coins like like uh, two weeks ago and then players like that like the the lower end players that you can pack a lot have definitely gone down in price. Now, there's a player that I absolutely love. When I bought him, I took a chance on him, and he's amazing. I really recommend him. And that player is Gilfy Sigurdsson. Now, Gilfy Sigurdsson, I bought his one to watch. Why? Well, he was 77,000 coins with a hunter on. And that was, in my opinion, a great price. You got a player who has already been upgraded. He already got a hero card, making him from an 82 to an 84. He's a one to watch. A one to watch, a player that played amazingly last season in the Premier League. Should have gotten a team of the season. He did get a team of the season, but it was playing a tournament. I think he should have gotten the first 21 players, or was it 23? I'm pretty sure 23 or 24 players in the starting 11 and subs and reserves. Yeah, it's 23 on the starting 11 subs and reserves. I'm going to make this sub real quick. I'm going to test out Dilo Phil, see what he's got. So yeah, in the first... Yeah. Sorry, I lost my train of 
thought real quick. <laughs> Give me a second. Well, yeah. So, he was the guy that should have been. Gilfie Sigurdsson was the guy that should have been in the first 23 starting 11 subs and reserves. He should have been there, in my opinion. And he's already started off great with Iceland. Um, he's doing very mess in the Premier League right now, but I think he's going to get informed, and I think he's going to be great. And to just be paying a, a measly price at the start of the game of 75,000 coins. 75,000 coins. That's not really that much right now at the start of the game. For a player that I think will get a lot of influence, will go up in price, who already has a hunter, and is amazing, it's just really nice. Like, I know you might be, some people would be like, 75,000 coins, that is a lot, but look at other one-to-watch players. Mbappe, he was selling for like 500,000 to a million coins. Lukaku, he was another million coins. And to find a player with 75,000 coins and has already been upgraded is just quite frankly amazing. Another player I'm thinking of investing in is the one to watch Salah. He also already got an upgrade. And uh, I've looked at his hero card. It is amazing. It is selling right now for about 130 to 150,000 coins, depending on the time of day that you buy him or the day that you buy him. And his card stats look amazing, honestly. I haven't looked at the price of the one to watch, but I'm thinking that, you know, if it's 200,000 coins or a bit less, I think I'm going to take a chance on it. Really, I do think. Yes, okay, 4-2. Told you, Gilfie Sigurdsson, amazing card. He is tall, so he can win that those, header, those headers. He has amazing finishing, amazing finesse shots, amazing long shots, amazing finishing, amazing passing. Sure, he's in the paciest of guys, but he'll grab that ball and he'll score a long shot, he'll assist, and he'll, he has great dribbling. Apart from his balance and his agility, he can definitely take on players. I can, uh, I'm telling you, I love Gilfie Stevenson as a cam. Uh, at first, when I got him, I thought I was going to play him as a center mid, but I, I said, like, I can't drop back Ioko or Sanchez. Like, they're just too amazing. So I said, let me try him at a cam. Amazing. Totally amazing. Okay, I know I'm saying amazing, and he just did that shot. But you better see the amazing goals he has scored in those 10 games. Amazing. Just amazing. Really. Well, yeah, it looks like we won this game. We're 4-2, 80th minute. It seems like it's all wrapped up. Just going to finish the couple few minutes. Hopefully get a fifth goal. Look, guilty. That's the other thing. Come on, ref. That, uh, I was going to say I was going to be a penalty, but re-examinating it, 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 he did touch the ball first. So maybe it shouldn't be. So yeah, so uh, so my player this day that I am recommending to buy is honestly going to be Gilfie Sigurdsson. He is great. Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, like if there's someone you want to buy, e even buy his normal card. I think his normal card is like 3,000, 2,000 coins, 1,000 coins, around that price. Amazing. Look at this. Oh, come on. I, I swear, man, I swear, man, when I when I talk good about a player, he just becomes bad. Like, if I were saying stuff like, go to Gertzen, he's very bad, he's terrible, he can't score, then bam, he would go and score a, a, a golasso. But no, because I'm saying he's amazing and all these stuff doesn't score. Okay, 4-3. The game is getting pretty tight. We're in the final minutes. Ronaldo just scored. They might come back, but I'm hoping not. Come on, Martial. You can't just lose the ball that easily. You have to have some fight in you. That's why people pay 60,000 coins. 
Thank God that was offside. My frown just turned upside down, man. Like, I thought that we were going to draw this game, we were going to go extra time, and we were going to lose. <sighs> Come on, man. I need defense. Come on, man. We have to win. Okay, I'm sorry for this. Okay, I was going to say I'm sorry for this. I'm going to waste time, but no wasted time needed. We won. That's how we do it. We win. Harry King with the man of the match. Marshall with a 9.3. Petr Cech with a 8.4. Rudiger with an 8.3. Smalling with an 8.2. And Sigurdsson with an 8.2. Two goals for Harry Kane. One for Marshall. One for Sigurdsson. Two assists for Marshall. One assist for Kane. Zero for Sigurdsson. And yeah, I made Sigurdsson. Okay, I'm sorry. Is, he, is his name Sigurdsson or Sigurdsson? I've just been saying both, like, not even realizing. So, let's see how much points we got. I'm pretty sure it's 1,800 points because all featured squads give you an exact amount of points. Yeah, 1,800 points, which takes us to bronze one. So, I'm going to be playing a couple of squad battle games offline right now. And, yeah, peace. This has been Siak Games here. Just one second. Let's see who sold. Oh, my shadow chemistry. Oh, sorry. My shadow chemistry sold. So, yeah, this was... Oh, task completed. Let's check the task completed. Sorry about that truck. It's making quite a bit of noise. Assisted. Assisted 15 goals. And finesse. Scored 8 goals using the finesse shot. I'm going to finish up these squad battle games. And, yeah. Peace. This has been Siak Games.